Hi everybody, it's Lawrence. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and uh, I guess gloat a little bit, but also show off a tool that I thought was really neat and I wanted to share it with you. I first saw one of these, this is a, a, a Yankee brand made by North Brothers, uh, 1530 uh, egg beater drill. I first saw the 1530A, which is the, uh, the improved model of this tool, uh, at uh, James's house when I went over to visit a few weeks ago and I was so impressed with it that I kept my eyes out on eBay and was watching you know out for one of these tools so I could buy it. Now it's a fairly standard little egg beater. It's it is small which is nice. I I, I use my egg beaters for things like uh, you know small bits and for counter sinks and things like that so it's nice to have a small footprint instead of a massive drill because I don't need it for most of the things I use. Uh, I, I use a, a power drill for the, the bigger bits. But the neat uh, thing about this uh, drill itself um, is the ratcheting mechanism, the clutch mechanism that's inside it. Um, the bottom slot, it's got five little indents that you can put things into. So the bottom indent, what it does is it locks the mechanism, which is actually really nice for, say you want to put a bit into the, the chuck. And you can go ahead and use that locking mechanism to hold it in place so you don't have to hold on to the handle when you put your bit into the chuck. Now that's all fine and dandy and that's a neat thing all in itself. But then it's when you get into the other uh, indents on here that you, you get into some cool things. Uh, the first one is the, I'll go ahead and go up all the way up to the top here. So when you do things all the way at the top on the indent, if you turn it clockwise, then the bit turns clockwise. If you turn it counterclockwise, the bit turns counterclockwise. There's no ratcheting mechanism to that at all when it's in the, the top spot, and that's pretty standard. When you go the next spot down on the, on the ratcheting mechanism, when you turn it clockwise, nothing happens. The bit does not turn. When you turn it counterclockwise, the bit spins counterclockwise which is, you know, a, a pretty handy little thing, a ratcheting mechanism on, on the drill. When you go down to the third one down, when you turn it clockwise, the bit spins. When you turn it counterclockwise, nothing happens. So you can use it as a ratcheting drill, which again is, is a, a fairly, you know, standard thing. It's the second to the last spot down on this ratcheting mechanism that it's when something happens that I, it's almost like magic in my mind. Uh, Christopher Schwartz, when he reviewed one of these drills that he was given, uh, he, the way he put it was that it's almost like North, the guys at North Brothers had harnessed alien technology, and you'll see why here. So when you put the ratcheting mechanism in that, in that spot, when you turn it clockwise, or yeah, clockwise, the bit spins clockwise. When you turn the handle counterclockwise, the bit still spins clockwise. I, this may not seem like that big a deal to you, but I gotta say, when you pick up the drill and spin it, you just kind of stare at the ratcheting mechanism and try and wonder, you know, you sit there and try and figure out how they go about doing this, what the mechanism inside there is. You can go online and actually download the patent and in the patent it actually shows the mechanism inside there that allows this to happen. I opened up the patent and looked at the patent and I still couldn't figure it out so it still seems like quite a bit of magic to me. So anyway, this is the 1530 uh, standard. The 1530A evidently has some, some beefier parts to it. I think number one being this part right here where the handle meets the body. I guess when people unscrew this, some people have a tendency to break this off. Uh, this one happens to, to be just fine on the one I got. It, I paid about $25 plus shipping on eBay. I know some people have gotten them cheaper and some people have paid more for them. Uh, 1530As are a bit more expensive. But again, I just wanted to kind of show this off and, and, uh, and show you guys this new tool. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you ever get a chance to pick one up, I can recommend it just on entertainment value alone on the on the uh, on the second to the last notch down. I mean, I, I 
I really could just do this for hours, guys. So, anyway, thanks a lot. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you around. Bye.